one more night down, says Jolene. She needs to move around and stretch her legs. A walk would be nice, says George. And Steve is starting to get hungry. We're gonna go days without food. Just stay strong, says George. We can can we focus here? We have to decide what we're gonna do today, says Teddy. I'm ready to start the day. We got this, says Garrett. Since when did you become the optimistic one, says Jolene? Well, I know we're going to be saved, so we may as well work hard to make sure we survive, says Garrett. You seem pretty sure people care about us, says Steve. I've got it on good authority that we're going to be okay, says Garrett. Oh, is that because we said everything's going to be okay, bless? Um, whatever keeps you going from going crazy, I guess. We've got these flares from the wreckage. I'm sure, that, sure they'll be useful somehow. But we still have no source of fresh water. Yeah, that's bad. Really bad. Um... Okay, so we're probably gonna we should go for the water really, and yeah, we'll go for water. Screw it. Water's important. Come on, we'll go get some. Yep, I'll come with you too, just in case you need a hand. Okay, maybe one day you'll start listening to me, says Teddy. But it's not this day, says Garrett. What? How dare you, says Teddy? What are the rest of you guys doing? Teddy, Steve and I should go look for some food. That sounds like a great idea. Let's get more opportunities so we can get lost or killed, says Steve. Suck it up, Steve. The alternative is running out of food. Alright, everyone, move out. Oh, so everyone's leaving this time. Okay. Um, okay, it's a shame his, f his fishing pole is broken. Otherwise, he could use it to find some fish. The only thing that survived the crash for Garrett's was the game brick. His console thing. I clung to Bricky with my life. I don't know what I'd do without her. And it totally doesn't look like a Nintendo DS. <laughs> okay, guys, guys, let's just leave the game brick alone. We need to find some clues. Okay, let's split up. Um, that. Nope. Yeah, it's true, Garrett. I'm pretty sure the scarf is not helping us. Um, if we knew anything else about cacti, it would help us. Is Garrett following us? No, it's okay, they're just on a timer thing. Um, oh look! Tracks! What are these? Animal tracks, they look pretty fresh too. Animals need to drink too. I bet if we follow these, we will find water. Yeah, let's follow them. Let's go! Time to go fetch some water. There we go, we found some water. Hooray! Uh, just had to start raining before we got there. Um, Garrett thought he saw something move. George says it's probably nothing. Let's just get the water back. Um, hmm, who should we send in? I didn't really want to send Garrett in. Uh, I've, I went in the last time, so we'll send George in. George, why don't you go get the water? Oh no! George! the hell? A snake! Somebody help me, my fishing pole will be useless against it. Um, I will use my frying pan. Oops. Not even close. <laughs> wow. No! George! At least the snake is leaving, and now it's got these big holes in me. I sure hope that thing wasn't poisonous. Hey, we've got to get you out of the mud. There we go. Um, let's collect up some water. Quickly. There we go. There we go. We've got some water. Okay, let's head back. Um, uh, it's sure it's funny that a snake could live in the pond only twice its size. Indeed, yeah it is. Okay, we've got our fishing pole. We've got our thing. Okay, it's time to go, I guess. Yep. Um, give me a minute. I think this is kind of new. This is new to me. Uh, ooh, let's have a little look. There's duct tape. Okay. Yep, there's duct tape on that. See? This is duct tape. What? Says George. This is really suspicious. I'm starting to wonder what kind of shape our plane was in. If we ever get out of here alive, I want some answers from the airline. I mean, look at that. That's a bit obvious, isn't it? I there's something wrong. <laughs> um, 
Okay, what's that? A documentary about this pirate stuff before. Hmm. Okay, well. Time to go. Come on, let's go back to camp and deliver our water. Uh, let's head back and let's hope that the snake that bit George is not poisonous. Um. Okay, he, he thinks it is poisonous. He just wants to get back to see Jolene once more before it dies. Before he dies. But I don't, I hope it's not poisonous. That would suck. Oh, what happened? That was really loud. I wonder if it stuck anything close. I hope the others are doing alright in this weather. Um, they'll be fine. They can take care of themselves. I'm sure they're fine. Surely, maybe, but the others I'm not so confident about. How we get moving? It's cold, says Garrett. Okay. Yeah, let's just get back. Hmm, hopefully they are okay. Ooh, guess what everyone? We got some water, says Garrett. George got bit by a snake though. A valiant injury for a valiant warrior. Oh, there were snakes back on the farm, but they didn't do too much, says Jolene. This was a lot more colourful than the other snakes back on the farm. Is there anything we can do to help him? Just keep him, just keep him hydrated and hope for the best, says Jolene. Okay. Well, everyone take a drink. Everyone's having some drink. There we go. Everyone's sharing water. Much appreciated. Water is the only thing we can't go without for a while. Okay. Now we're going to be fine, Georgie, says Jolene. I almost forgot. I saw a light offshore when I was wandering down the beach. Really? That's great. Maybe we can build something to get out to it. Maybe. It looks pretty far out. I don't know how far it was, though. How'd the search for food go? A whole lot of nothing. There doesn't seem to be anything edible on this island. If the weather doesn't take us, the lack of food sure will. Well, it ain't all bad news. We saw something out in the distance. It was a mountain. Yeah, there was some sort of structure. It was definitely man-made. That structure could be hundred years old, says George. It's no doubt a possibility, though, says Teddy. No, there ain't anybody else on here. What would anyone do on this old island? I think you guys are seeing things. None of this matters without a signal. We're all going to die out here, says Teddy. What's going on, Teddy? Nobody's listening to me. We have to find a way off this island. Teddy, I'm sure they know the plane went down. I bet they're looking for us right now. Why doesn't anybody understand, says Teddy. Things like this don't just happen. We're being tested. Teddy, what are you on about? Teddy, I think you're being ridiculous now. You don't get it. Okay, Teddy, we're listening. Just start talking. Good, you'll want to if you want to survive. This is a high-profile operation. We must find our special skills that we've been chosen for. Okay, okay, Teddy, just, just calm down. Uh, yeah, let's continue this by the tents where it's nice and dry. Um, uh, can we have a look? Uh, if our pretzel's nice and dry. Okay, this is, this is going to be a horrible weather time. Um. Hmm. Rain is getting quickly worse. It's really cold. Why do that when we can leave, says Teddy. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Where would we even go? Inland, we can find better shelter, says Teddy. Well, in the last time, we didn't go in when there was a storm. So, um, let's find better shelter. We need to... Trust me, guys, this is a terrible idea to stay. Okay. Something sure to get bad if we stay here in this weather. Okay. It seems we forgot the supplies. We need to go to get them. For Pete's sake, we don't have time for this. Just be hold on. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, something gonna happen? Okay. Um. We'll take the food. Um. Can I? Can I not take all the food? Okay. We've got everything. Let's go. Come on, everyone. Keep close. Try to stay up. Okay, stay together everyone. And hopefully we don't get lost, still separated. Hmm. Oh, did we find we found the cave. 
It's a cave. I knew this would work, says Teddy. Wait, where's Jolene? I could use a little help there, says Jolene. That's a, is that a jaguar? Let's get out of here. Nobody stands a chance to get that thing. I let her have Jolene? Not a chance. Ouch, she says. Hang on, Jolene, I'm coming. Um, hold George back? No, George, we can't afford to lose you too. Get your hands off me. Jolene will die without our help. Um, I'll fight the jaguar. Chill out, guys. I got this. I'm a main character. It's fine. Oh, no, her arm. We lost our arm. Now we're like Lee from Walking Dead. You're in terrible shape. We need to get out of here. George, I, I can't feel my arm. That's because you lost your arm, dear. 